this Saturday. Been a minute since I actually vlogged since we've been home. I haven't picked up the camera since I came back and I did that because I didn't want to have all this extra footage because I know y'all know how slow I am to upload videos. Anyway, so it is Saturday, did I say that? And it's a lazy Saturday, not going anywhere. I was actually supposed to go to Tyreek and Annie's. I know you guys hear the birds. They are very vocal. Anyway, we were supposed to go to Tyreek and Annie's today, but just a scheduling mishap. So we are going to go visit them next week. And they don't live here in town. They live about an hour away. So that's the reason why I don't see my little baby bug as often as I would like. So we're going to see them next weekend instead. And what else? Savannah's not here right now. She's with a friend. I got a good night's sleep, but I did get up pretty early, so I'm just yawning like crazy. And nothing's on the agenda today, you guys. Nothing at all. Very boring. I'm going to get up and water my plants soon. I actually have to buy some more pots to put them in, and Boston is wandering around like a worried little puppy because he didn't see savannah leave because we put him out to use the bathroom and then she left and then i brought him in after that so like for an hour he's been wandering like where is she where is she and he's sniffing like the floor to try to see where she's been so he's just looking at the direction of the door or her room thinking she's gonna pop up soon so anyway um what am i doing nothing absolutely nothing Shine's here, but she's in her room, and I'm watching a show on Netflix called Sweet Tooth, and it's really weird. It's good. I don't know why I started watching it. It's not my type of movies or show to watch, but it's about kids who are born half human, half animal, and it's like the whole apocalyptic thing with a virus, and people have masks on in here, which is way too familiar for us. But I'm watching it and it's actually pretty good. I'm on the fourth episode and there's only eight episodes in the first season. So have you guys seen that? Are you guys weird like me and watch about anything right now or when you're bored? I don't know. So yeah, if I have anything else to update you guys with, I will pull out the camera. But until then, this is what I'm doing. A whole lot of nada. It's okay, Boston. She's coming back later. Where'd he go? Y'all, he is just wandering the house. He has not been still for the last hour. He has separation anxiety like crazy. I don't think I showed you guys this, my Universal Studios shot glass. It's so lonely, you guys. That means I need to go more places. This one's all full, you guys have seen that. <laughs> and this one is just one. I can't believe I never got a shot glass from there before. I don't know, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. So yeah, there it is. And I also got this hoodie that just says Universal Studios and it has pockets right there. And yes, I know it's summertime or getting close to summertime, but it was too cute to pass up. So yeah, I got this. That's all I got from there, you guys, because we've been there before and gotten things before. So nothing else really like stood out. So yeah, I think this is super cute. I cannot wait to wear this when it gets cold. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday and just like that, the weekend is over didn't do anything this weekend at all and I'm just waiting to clock in have about five minutes so I am going to talk to you guys a little bit until I have to clock in and if you're wondering why I'm putting two different things on my lips is because I am a fan of the Carmex crack I swear there's crack or something in there that makes me continuously use only Carmex but 
here at my desk, I'm trying to try something different. I'm trying Blistex and it's kind of dry. And then I have this Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. So I use this one for moisture. I tried only using this. It doesn't make my lips feel as moisturized. And this one is too much moisture and it doesn't last very long. So I don't know. Anyway, y'all didn't ask, but I decided to tell y'all. Anyway, we didn't do a thing this weekend. I didn't leave the house. I work from home on Friday. So did I leave the house on Friday? I think we did. I left the house on Friday. I didn't vlog. I haven't vlogged since I've been back from um, our mini vacation to see my mom. So, and that's because you guys know how I have all this footage and then I usually have like 40 minute videos and I didn't want to do that. So I wanted to make sure I put up all the videos from our trip and then start vlogging, but then I didn't start vlogging. Yeah, I don't know. Y'all, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to get back into it. Anyway, you would have seen me and Savannah sitting in our chairs, Cheyenne in her room, or she's out here watching movies, watching shows. Nothing vlog worthy at all. Nothing at all. Yeah, didn't leave the house. I was supposed to go see Tyreek. I think I told you guys that, but didn't go. I'm gonna go this weekend. So, yeah. And I know it's weird that I'm up before work. Well, let me take that back that I'm up and dressed actually because usually I brush my teeth wash my face and just come out here whatever but I decided to get dressed because I do have errands to run after I get off work so I'm like let me just get dressed now while I'm feeling it oh so, yeah and while I'm feeling it meaning because I felt actually fine this morning use because I'm not a morning person so I'm very moody in the mornings and yeah that's it <laughs> Yeah, normally when I have to go somewhere, you guys didn't ask all this, but I'm just telling you guys. Um, when I have to go somewhere after work, I'll get dressed on my break or my lunch. But today I just decided to do it sooner. So yeah, I'm dressed now. Just waiting to clock in. I have two more minutes, you guys. So let me go ahead and focus on this. If I keep talking to you guys, I may clock in late. So. I'll talk to you guys on my next break. So we are in Winco and I know I never do a grocery haul that's because I'm too lazy. So here is my lazy grocery haul. Yep, that's it. We're in Happy Lemon. Okay, so we are at home and yes, I've showered and changed into my pajamas, y'all. So we went out today and well, you see, we went to Winco and then to get boba. And I should have showed you guys the drink that we got. So you guys, I never do a, I think I did a grocery haul one time because I'm not gonna lie, I'm lazy when it comes to grocery hauls. I like watching them and that's about it. I don't like doing them because I don't like grocery shopping as it is and when I bring the groceries in, I just wanna put them away. I don't wanna set them out really neatly, whatever, and then, you know, record it. So that's the reason why I never do a grocery haul because, <laughs> because I'm lazy. So yeah, you guys will get my lazy grocery haul. I know somebody asked me that a while back, like, why do you never show your groceries? Cause I'm lazy. So anyway, Savannah is making dinner tonight, you guys. So she's in there and the kitchen is all hers and I'm just gonna sit here and sit back and wait till it's done. So this is the Pad Thai. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really good and it smells wonderful. Y'all, look at my bowl. She did a good job. It was so good. And she said she was worried for a minute, but this is my favorite meal that she's cooked. She said every time. I know, I do say that every time. She's made three vegan meals for us. Yeah. Well, she's made more, but I'm just saying, like from scratch, like a new recipe is what yeah. I'm saying. And so far, this has been my favorite. And y'all, see my bowl?
Okay, so I am on lunch and it is time to wash these chair covers. Something spilled. I need to just wash them and bleach them. And yeah, so gonna do that now. Okay, so it's after work. I don't even know if I said that today is Tuesday. <laughs> but Savannah and I, we are watching the second It, chapter two. And she made some, I know it's not called pinwheels or wheels. I don't know the name of it, but she has the, is it Valentina sauce? Yeah. Valentina sauce with lime juice. And these are so good. And Boston's like, can I have some? Oh, you guys. So I was going through things on my dresser and cleaning it up. And I found like 18 SD cards. And normally when I say I have 18 or 12 of something, that's an exaggeration for me having a lot. No, I literally have 18 SD cards. Who, what, what, who do I think I am? What do I think I'm doing? When I first was starting help vlogging and my SD cards were not as good a quality or something like that, I don't know, but who has 18 of them? Who? Literally 18. I don't know, I, I can't even explain. So I was going through and deleting footage from a long time ago, you guys. And I feel like a SD card would get full on it, buy another one, but that wasn't the case. I don't know, I can't explain it, but I'm looking through these videos and a lot of them were when, you know, the kids were younger, Tyreek was still living at home. And I don't know, it's just really, weird to see even though I have a lot of the footage you know it went up on YouTube so I still have it but if I want to see it but you know it was just nice seeing the unedited versions of stuff so was doing that and then I deleted a lot of footage but I kept the footage of my nephew Apollo from when we first met him and then some of Savannah's concert when she was in high school so yeah and then the rest are empty. I'm like, what am I gonna do with these? Because I use the higher quality one. Um, I don't know. So I have all these SD cards. I don't know, I guess if I need one, I'll have it available. Cause I have literally 18 of them. Also, as I'm looking at the footage, I'm looking how I was different as far as, yeah, I know I'm getting a little weight, but different as far as, not my personality, but, okay, so, I just noticed my energy was different when I was vlogging before. And I don't wanna take you guys down a dark road or anything like that, but last year, or maybe the year before last, something happened in my family. Nobody died or anything like that, but something happened and it affected all of us. And I will never tell because some things are not meant for social media and my spirit was broken and I continue to vlog, but I'm looking at videos from before it happened, and then I'm looking at videos during the time where it was going on, and the time where it was going on, I wasn't depressed, and I wasn't thinking about hurting myself. I like breathing, so it wasn't that, but the life, not the life, but the light went out in me, and I think that's when I started not really vlogging that explains a lot and then i just got into that habit and now it's just like i don't pick up a camera as often and if you're like well if you're not going to tell us what happened why are you telling us you know what was going on well it's because i was looking through the pictures but i do notice that now when i vlog the light is back in me if you want to call it that i don't know there was just a shift in from like before being I mean, not that everything's always happy, whatever, but it's just that there was a different Michelle pre that event that happened, that changed, and then during, and then once I started trying to get back to being the old Michelle. So I don't know if you guys noticed a difference in me, if you guys did and didn't mention it, um, thanks. I just came in my room to grab something, but then, I started cleaning my dresser because it was a mess. Now I have a bunch of empty SD cards that I'll probably never use. I'd probably sell them. <laughs> if I ever decide to sell my camera, probably 
give it to the person who is going to get the camera. Yeah, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with that, you guys. And I know I asked. And a lot of people said, keep it as a backup. But after going from this quality, why would I go back? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And the thing is, now that I have both cameras, I have two of the battery chargers. And it's just easier and quicker to charge my three batteries with two chargers. But then if I sell the camera, I'm going to have to give up one charger and then one battery. I don't know, you guys. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I don't use it just sitting on my dresser. And it's funny because Savannah grabbed it the other day and she was like, well, maybe I'll start you know using this for my channel or whatever and she's looking at it and trying to figure out the settings and it wasn't as good quality and I'm like yeah I know why you think I upgraded so <laughs> yeah I don't know you guys it's just sitting there collecting dust that's about it not doing nothing much about to go watch another movie it's still pretty early good morning everyone sorry you at this angle but you know when you're here I'm in my neighborhood. Anyway, I'm on my way to work because I gotta go into, why am I speeding? Oh my gosh. Seriously, Michelle, everything just tipped over because I don't know what I think I'm doing. I don't know if I think I'm on the freeway, whatever. Anyway, I'm on, this is a really horrible angle, you guys. Not flattering at all. I'll just talk to you guys like this. I'm on my way to work today even though today is Thursday, I don't know if I said that. Um, my normal day to go in would have been Tuesday and Wednesday, but we, remember I told you guys we are changing our software. I believe I told you guys this. We are changing our software in August. So today and tomorrow morning is going to be a beginning training. I really don't like this angle. That's not much better. We have to start the day at 8, which sucks because now we're going to have to get off later. And I was planning on doing overtime today, but I don't do overtime when we are actually at the office because I don't want to stay there any longer than I have to. And I'm about to go to McDonald's right now to get some coffee because I didn't make it at home. Anyway, but I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, what else? Oh, I had to put my tags on my car this morning because they weren't expired, but my new registration and all that in my purse and the sticker on my car looks like it was expired and I've been driving around like that. Totally forgot. I just put it on this morning. I'm in line for McDonald's. Line is kind of long, but I did leave like super early. So I put my sticker on my car for my tags. I hope you guys can still see me because um, it's really bright out here. And... My sticker, I think I told you guys this before, when I put my sticker on, I slice it because I have had my sticker stolen before off my car. And yes, DMV charges you to get another sticker. It's not that expensive, but it doesn't matter. So I, if I have to come out the pocket twice for registrations that are already expensive, you know, oh, you guys can't see me. When I put my sticker on every year, I usually slice it up. Yep, and I have my air conditioner on already, you guys. It is 78 degrees. No, it's not. I'll take that back, hold on. It is 64 degrees already, and it's supposed to be 108 today. There's an excessive heat warning, and they picked the two hottest days for us to go into the office. Yeah, that's awesome. But inside my office is freezing. That's why I always bring a sweater because it's so cold in there. And we have these tiny little heaters that I'd be trying to like get there early. So what do you guys feel about the mask lifting? The mask mandate being lifted. I'm a little apprehensive about it. I'm still gonna have my mask, bring my mask. It's like <laughs> I, I'm ready for this mask thing to be done, but at the same time, Rona is still out there. Y'all, I'm a mess this morning. Dropping everything, now I'm pulling everything out of my purse. I will always have one with me, and I know they were saying that if you're outside, which 
if I'm away from people, I never wore my mask anyway. If I wasn't around people, I mean, if you go to a theme park or whatever, I guess you don't have to wear your mask if you're fully vaccinated. And then if you go inside a store or something like that and they require a mask, of course, you have to have your mask then. So they're relying on the honor system, which I think a lot of people are going to lie, you guys. Thank you. Y'all. This is really bugging me, but I have nowhere else to put you guys because I'm in my neighborhood. I'm on my way to work, so I have to put you guys here. So, yeah. Y'all, with the whole virus, there's three types of people. And I'll tell you which one I am, which you guys probably can already figure out. So, there's the people who think it doesn't exist, that mask won't help you, and it's a whole, you know, hoax and stuff like that. And they won't listen to the rules and whatever. That's not me. Then there are people who are so afraid to go out, scared of everything, and you can't really blame them. You know, I'm not passing judgment on those ones, the first ones, yeah. <laughs> but you, they don't really wanna go out and they're afraid and they haven't seen their family. And you know, nothing's wrong with that. It's good to be safe. And then you have people like me who, yes, I obey the rules with the mask. And I wear it where everywhere I'm supposed to wear it the proper way and I don't complain. And I try to keep my distance away from people. But at the same time, if things are open and if I feel safe and they have restrictions on how they are handling things, then I'm gonna go. And plus, I'm fully vaccinated, y'all. So I trust the vaccine and yeah. So that's how I feel about that. Mm. I know the first sip of coffee is so Hey y'all. Yes, I'm at home. After work, I came home. I showered. I changed. And I am not playing. Y'all, look at this. 108. I am not about to play in this heat. So, yeah, there's nothing that important that can't wait until the weekend or whatever, but it is way too hot to be out in this heat. I'm about to relax. Nothing much to do tonight. Um, the training that I had earlier, it went well. So, yeah, it was just weird because all of us were like, we should be going home right now. Yeah, so got to do it again tomorrow. It's supposed to be another hot one tomorrow. That's awesome. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Y'all, it's supposed to be another hot one. It's 72 degrees already outside. I do not want to leave the house. I understand I got to go for the training, but I don't want to leave. And if you wonder what those bottles are, those are Savannah's kombucha <laughs> um, bottles. So I don't know if you guys were wondering, but y'all know I don't drink so just making sure you don't th think it's alcohol because it's not there would not be no alcohol in this house um anyway I'm happy because today is Friday and I'm in the kitchen deciding whether I want to make coffee or not I guess because everyone was complaining about you know having to go in later tomorrow and then get off later the boss decided to buy breakfast and coffee this morning so we gave her our Starbucks order so we'll be getting that, but I'm deciding, I don't know if I want some now. I have about 15 minutes before I go. I've been up a while. I just took my time getting up this morning and getting ready. And I still had a lot of time for the longest. I was just in my bed watching Good Day Sacramento. So yeah, that's it. Nothing's going on you guys at all. Nothing at all. And especially now that I'm not trying to leave the house. Um, I do think I'm still going to see um, Tariq tomorrow. I just want to stay home. I know I'm complaining. I can't complain about my job. I like my job actually. And yesterday we went to look at the, me and some of the other coworkers, we went to look at the space that we are going to have that they're building for us. And I heard someone say that two weeks it'll be ready and then I heard two months. I don't know. We just, we are just hearing conflicting, you know, dates. But when we peeked in there, 
there's like insulation on the floor i don't know if they pulled it off the walls or if it's going up on the walls everything is in disarray it's just a mess you know how things look when they're being constructed is that the word <laughs> when it's being built yeah the space will definitely not be ready in two weeks unless they work 24 hours and we didn't even see anyone in there working and actually towards the end there was a guy that walked out of the bathroom that went in one person so I don't know if there's more people in a back room <clears throat> somewhere that was working but yeah it's definitely not going to be two weeks so uh, my manager she told us yesterday she's like I'm not gonna lie you guys I do not want to come back full-time and we're like neither do we and by full-time we mean I mean full-time at the job I mean my job is full-time but you know yeah she is still trying to get the boss to allow us to work from home I just don't see why we can't continue doing it the way we're doing it a lot of its control <laughs> company wants control of you you know whatever I don't know I'm just rambling so you guys so you know how things are opening up again and starting to get better I guess they said that 70% of the Sacramento area is vaccinated we haven't had like a huge vacation family vacation since we went to Disney World and since things are opening up now there's a few places that is on our list to go so I'm going to be doing some research y'all and once I once I get the tickets to the one place I'm thinking of, maybe I'll let you guys know. Y'all know me. I'm all about the reveal and surprise. Guess what? Look where we are. You know, stuff like that. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to say anything, but it won't be till next year because it'll give us time to save up and whatever. But we are purchasing tickets for it sooner because we want to make sure we get a spot. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this heat is no joke, y'all. I didn't pick up the camera after I vlogged when I got home. Me and Savannah, we just watched movies. I, even though I was in the house, I stayed hydrated. And did we watch movies or did we watch shows? We probably watched things on YouTube. I don't know. What? Nothing vlog worthy, nothing at all, trust me. So, yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> trust me, it's the same day. What had happened was, I did go to work, we all went to work and we did the training, and the training, the training, the training is only until one o'clock. <coughs> but we have to take our lunch by the fifth hour, so somebody asked the boss, they're like, it's Friday since we're working later and you know, there's gonna be traffic when we get off. Can we just, you know, take our lunch at the job and then go home and work the rest of the day? She said, yes, so here I am. I'm just waiting for everything to boot up. But I did went ahead and I changed, but I'm just gonna take a shower when I'm done with my shift. But yeah, I get to work the rest of the day. It's so hot outside, I know I'm, like all over the place but I get to work the rest of my shift at home but it is so hot outside it was already 102 when I was on my way home and they said it's supposed to be 108 again today I believe let me see it's 105 now come on and by five o'clock it's supposed to be 108 so that's awesome but anyway, okay, everything's booted up. Let me get Good to work. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, and it's about 12.30. I've been up a while because I did three hours of overtime today. And then I just stayed up and straightened up the house a little bit. But right now, me and the girls, we're about to go visit Tyreek and the baby and Annie and spend some time over there, get to see my little bug and yeah, so just waiting on Savannah to finish getting ready. The only feet I like and would kiss. So we're home now and kind of lazy today, but <laughs> we just Instacarted a few things, mainly for Savannah because you guys know she's vegan. So there's only certain things that she's allowed to eat. So yeah, just got some stuff for her. 
not everything, but yeah. So this is a Healthy Choice Vegan Power Bowl. And she mainly gets snacks from um, certain places that she can't find, like cookie dough. It's This is completely vegan. And then vegan cookies. So, yay. I know it's wrinkle, but look, y'all. The stain came out. I put the other two on, and now I'm just going to put this cover on this chair. And, yeah, I really didn't want to have to buy another one, but... I would have because that was just yeah can't do that actually I think I'm going to put this in a dryer for a little bit before I put it back on that way you can knock out the wrinkles y'all know how I do I don't iron y'all know this okay so I don't know why I couldn't see it before maybe it was the lighting I don't know but it's still there and it's bugging me so y'all know what that means I would hate to get another seat cover for that, but yeah, that's no, it no, I just can't. So, I guess I'll be making another trip to IKEA soon. And I didn't put it back in the dryer because I'm like, we're just gonna sit on it anyway. So, yeah, these things are so hard to put on, you guys. I should film me putting it on because underneath there's like this Velcro that you have to, you know, wrap around it to hold it on the chair and yeah it's just a whole lot of trouble but yeah I thought the stain was gone but clearly it's still Hi there guys. <laughs> we're at Arden Mall and well, I'm kind of nervous know. because you know the whole mask thing so I do have my mask here but I don't know I'm kind of scared to walk in and not have it on because corona's still out there y'all so I don't know let's go scared. I'm scared too and I'm off work early today so this is always the parking lot we park in upstairs by JC Penny that I park in. Yeah, Savannah said that you park in because when she comes with Cheyenne or her friends, they park elsewhere. So yeah, the entrance. <laughs> like this else. is the entrance. <laughs> okay, so we are leaving and I ended up wearing my mask most of the time and so does Savannah, even though vaccinated, fully vaccinated people can go without a mask but I just felt really weird you guys very weird, weird. who y'all so we are back home after the mall I didn't vlog in the mall or anything like that we went to the movies and we saw the hitman's wife no Savannah what was the name of that movie we saw Savannah what was the name of the movie we saw the Hitman's Wife body, Bodyguard, something like that. But it was it's with Ryan Reynolds, Selma Hayek, and um, Samuel L. Jackson. And yeah, it was pretty good. It was funny. had funny parts. And then, what else? I didn't get anything in the mall. Savannah got some shirts and some posters for her room. Yeah, but very briefly, she said, and you fell asleep. Yeah, I did so nod off in the movie. What? You was being loud. I was being loud. I probably was snoring. Was I snoring? No. No? Yeah. So yeah, I didn't get anything from the mall and she got some candy, snacks too, whatever. So and some shirts and some posters. I told them that. <laughs> so just here at home, about to watch something else, I guess. I don't know. Now we're watching Good on Paper. Why do you keep doing that, Savannah? Seriously? She's annoyed because I picked up the camera. All right, you guys, I'm probably not going to vlog for the rest of the day. So I don't even know what's on this video. My videos have been so sporadic and here and there lately. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>